Hi, I'm the virtual Miss Cartmill. I'm going to show you around the art room and teach you a few of the procedures that we use in the art room every single day when you come to art. Don't worry, Miss Cartmill. I'll give you your art room back eventually. When you come in each day to art, you're going to come and sit on this carpet space. Sit as close to the person in front of you as you can and be ready to listen to what we'll be doing in art. I'll tell you what materials you'll need, what steps you'll be taking, and then I'll dismiss you to your tables to start working. These are our smart class rules. Number one is coming quietly prepared to listen. You've already done this by walking quietly to the carpet. Number two is be respectful to each other and the teacher. Just treat each other the way you want to be treated. That's the golden rule. Number three is properly use supplies, tools, and materials like I teach you to. We don't want to be throwing paintbrushes or pencils around the room. It's my job to keep you safe. Number four is clean up after yourself. We're going to learn how to do this later on, but I want you to treat the materials the right way so that they last all year. And finally, number five is be creative and use your imagination. I want you to learn to think outside the box and really go for different ideas. If you're writing with a pencil and it breaks, or it's not sharp anymore, you bring it here to the broken pencil basket. You grab a sharp one, you go back to your table, and you continue working. We're not going to use the pencil sharpeners because they're really loud and they take away from you working on your artwork. If we run out of sharp pencils, come get me and I'll sharpen some ones from the broken pencil basket. This is a picture of the Mona Lisa by Leonardo da Vinci. In order to get your attention, I'm going to say Mona and you're going to say Lisa. And when you do, I want you to act like this painting. What is this painting doing that I want you to do when I'm trying to get your attention? She has her eyes forward, she has her mouth closed, and it's in a smile. She has her hands down and still. She's not writing with a pencil or painting still. She's sitting up straight and ready to listen. So when I say Mona, you say, and you act like Mona Lisa. So try it. Mona. Awesome. This is the arrow poster. This is where we'll be lining up this year when it's time to go back to class. Your face needs to be forward, voices need to be completely off, and your body needs to be in control.